up y'all welcome back for some more daredevil quick recap last episode we saw foggy is now a part of karen and ben's plan to take down united ally constructions corruption we saw how matt got his senses so enhanced he was trained by a father figure named sticks and he got his iconic sticks all we need is a suit and now we got daredevil finally finally we're getting closer but let's get into this before we begin i do want to remind you that you can see my full link reaction and get early access to these youtube edits on my patreon through the link in the description if not just make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it it really helps my channel reach a wider audience and i greatly 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 appreciate it but now it's time for the show let's go <laughs> Nice, after virtually not seeing him last episode, we open up with him. Let's go. What the fuck? Man, something happened in his childhood. Did he have to kill somebody when he was younger? Or did he see something that, that resulted with a whole bunch of someone else's blood being splattered on him? Guy's like a bat. Not blind like a... I mean, you know, but bats aren't blind, Foggy. They're not? It's a myth. They're not? They just have poor vision, right? I know you're just trying to do the right thing here, but we have to be smart about this. We? You know, that's not nearly as heroic as you might think. I don't want anyone to be a hero, Karen. I want you to be safe. Okay, well, Matt's kind of inserted himself in that United Ally Construction Corruption case, too. I understand your position. You need to understand mine. Nobu and Kingpin? This is fucking awesome, man. Holy shit, I know who these guys are. He needs to be taught some manners. Leave it alone. Bro, you don't understand Nobu and the shit he's involved in. The hand's powers are mystical, like Black Panther and Iron Fist. Doctor Strange. Once you get on the city council, everybody wants to put a little something in your pocket. This city, it's everything. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Kingpin's father is incredibly driven. You can see how his worth ethics basically rubbed off onto him. You worry too much. How am I paying for all this? Holy shit, she's got hella bruises on her arms. You gotta put yourself out there, mom. You see? The kid is smarter than you. He's an ambitious guy, but he doesn't really have good people skills, which is like Kingpin. Holy shit. What about his partner, Hoffman? They go back since before the Academy. I, I doubt he'll be receptive. And I'll speak with him myself. I mean, that dude kind of has it coming. He's killed people for them. He is definitely a loose end and has to be taken care of. But to ask his partner to take care of him, doesn't that make him a loose end as well? Like, it doesn't stop. It never ends. Confederated Global Investments. The company that hired us to defend that bowling alley nut? Yeah. Cool seeing all these, you know, handy capable accessories in this show that... I've never heard of that are actually pretty innovative, man. I've come a long way. Nobody knows what really happened out there. Detective Blake might. Be interested in what he has to say. Yeah, so would I. We can't allow this to happen. Damn, so it's like a mad dash between Kingpin and Daredevil. Who's gonna get to the detective first? I've known him since I was a kid. This 30, 35 years. How much are each of those years worth to you? Holy fuck, man. The game is the game, always. Come on, Matt, you gotta stop him, bro. Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, shit! Tell me everything you know about Wilson Fisk. Go, 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 Damn, so he basically gave that dude a cover for killing him, man. Shit, now he's gonna get blamed for it. I don't know what he told him, but he looked pretty shocked on his face. Like, what the fuck? This guy Hoffman, how much does he know? We're taking care of it, Leland. Situation's being handled, all right. Just not by you. Yo, this dude is kind of brash and direct, but he is right. And he is right to be worried. Matt is no joke. This masked man is getting to people quicker than they are. Come on, what happened? It was that Bernie walk. Am I asking you? Get your coat. Hmm. Oh shit, man. This is not gonna end well. Holy fuck. Say something funny! Go ahead! Stop! Go ahead. Stop. Come here. Stop. Holy shit, man. This is traumatizing. Kick him! Keep kicking him! Kick him! 
This is like a Sopranos prequel movie, man. The Many Saints of Newark or some shit. Holy fuck. He has that nightmare every night. She says she didn't come for tea. He does not need you to form my words. Holy shit, she can speak English? They can both understand each other? Oh, he knows about Vanessa, so you better chill, Kingpin. Get your shit together. <laughs> Man, this dude does not know how to process his emotions. Gotta take care of something. What's the matter? Can't it wait till tomorrow? No, Marlene, it can't. I gotta talk to Riggle. Oh, those are his dad's pins. That's why he's wearing them. Oh, oh, is that enough? I get that shit out there. Stop. Shut up! Stop. Oh shit! Oh, please. Shut, Shut up! Please. Shut up! Stop. Shut up! Oh man, he watched his dad beat his mom probably every day. So that's why he stares at that wall when he wakes up in the morning. I can't see him ever laying a hand on Vanessa, despite what his father did to his mother. <laughs> you believe this kid? He gets that shit from you. Oh! It's all right, baby, it's all right. Shh. He beat his father's brains out with a hammer. Get the saw. What the fuck? Get the saw? He had to kill and dismember his own fuck. How is his mom not freaking out? It's almost like she was waiting for this day more than he was. They want to destroy everything that I'm trying to accomplish. And are you going to let them? No. Holy shit, Vanessa's in there now. The complexity of Wilson Fist so far, man, I, what a villain. That's all I can really say so far. What a fucking villain. I like getting some backstory on him, but this is something else. I want you to expose the man responsible, Wilson Fist. Tell me everything you know. Matt may not have someone on the police department or through law enforcement to help him, but at least he has someone in the paper, which is just as effective. With our indifference. With a pervasive lack of interest in anything that doesn't directly affect us. Yo, no way. She got him rocking the, the gray shit. Yo, yes. With the shadow of weariness of how tired we are. He's inching slowly more and more towards Kingpin. But we do. The people of this city. We still matter. Let's see what he sees when he looks in the mirror. If he has nothing to hide, let him step forward. I felt the need to speak up for this city that... Get the fuck out of here! This dude is a step ahead of them. I tried to do this quietly. The last thing I wanted was for anyone close to me to become a target. For wow. But I know now it's foolish to make that decision. That I can no longer do it alone. That I cannot keep... I don't know if this is what the woman meant when she told him to get his house in order either. My name... is Wilson Fisk. We can make this city a better place. I knew it was going to get to this moment where he just came out the shadows and was like, you know, what? I'm going to wear my name proudly. <laughs> Yo, whoa. <laughs> Matt's been a step ahead of them every time, but now he's a step ahead of them, like 10 steps ahead of them. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Daredevil Season 1, Episode 8. You almost feel bad for Fisk looking at all of the traumatic stuff he went through when he was younger. You know, they tried to paint him in a sympathetic light, it looks like. Of course he was defending his mom, and no one's gonna try to deny that. He still maintained that brutality. He maintained his father's words and his ethic and his morality, except the woman beating, it looks like. He still ended up a lot like his dad, though. Whether he wants to admit it to or not, you always become the thing that you try to avoid most. That gray jacket, though, man, that's the start. I saw the purple ascot in the background, too. So once he puts that on and gets the cane, he'll be in full regalia from the comics i can't wait to see that we're getting closer we're almost getting there the groundhog effect with fisk you know where we kept seeing him wake up each morning that kind of let us know he had a routine he set in his ways and then at the end when it changed with vanessa waking up for him it just let us know he's maturing he's opening up more 
He's letting love be a part of his plan now. That's what you need. You can't just be walled off in your castle. You have to hide in plain sight. This show is taking a lot of stuff from the 48 Laws of Power. And that's like one of my top three books of all time. So when you see stuff like that, you know, he's just doing everything by the book the way you're supposed to. Also playing dumber than your mark. That's straight out the book too. You know, he did. He pretended he didn't know Japanese the same way she pretended she didn't know English. They both know each other. They both understand each other, but you got to play dumber than your mark. And Leland looks like he wants no part to this. <laughs> he is questioning all their steps and their motives every step of the way he looks terrified now he has to get a suit just to make sure this guy doesn't attack him or someone else doesn't attack him even at the end in the press conference he looks scared shitless so i'm sure kingpin notices that as well flashbacks are a big part of the show not just for matt it looks like for our villain too and to be honest i'm i'm enjoying fist's storyline his little arc more than i'm enjoying daredevil's I know it sounds crazy, but he's really he's more complex than Matt is. I think Matt's thing is that he's blind, but he's still be able to do all these things better than we can. But with Fisk, it's like he doesn't have any powers. Everything he's doing is off of sheer will. Everything he's able to accomplish is from his terrible childhood. You know, he, it's he's more relatable. You know, we can't relate to the shit that Matt does. We can't hear through walls. We got a fantastic shot in the rain of Ben talking with the masked man, basically letting them know, like, Ben, you can trust me. I know about your United Allied construction case, and I'm with you. All the stuff they're saying about me is not true. So, you know, that was a big pivotal moment. And it being hit with all that rain, you know, it really drove it home. It's going to take a really big event for the way the picture is being painted so far, you know, from the police, from the media, and now Fisk. We all basically think he's not a good guy. The Only like a handful of people know his true character and that he really didn't do these things. And I feel like that's a part of the creation of Daredevil, you know, starting out as seen as a menace and eventually winning the hearts of the public. And I can't wait. We're almost at the end of the first season. We've got so much more to go. If anything in particular stood out to you in this episode or there was something I might have missed, please tell me about it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching my reaction. All I ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also catch my full link reaction and get early access to these YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. You guys are the best. We're basically family now. I know you guys know that. That's it for me. Until next time, spread peace and love. I'm out.